Yo, how's everybody doing? It's the Hawking Regime here, and today I'm coming at you guys with another Talk the Hawk video here on the Hawking Regime channel. Basically going to be a preseason video, but the Seattle Seahawks end up agreeing to a contract with cornerback Tremaine Brock from the San Francisco 49ers today. And the big news for this is really the fact that, you know, Seattle just feels like I guess they're ailing at the cornerback position with Deshaun Shedd. Recovering from that ACL injury he suffered in that loss against Atlanta in the divisional round this past uh, postseason, and Jeremy Lane also had, a, had had an injury that he was dealing with, so he didn't. End up, he ended up not playing on Sunday in Seattle's first preseason game against the Los Angeles Chargers. So uh, you know, clearly there were talks about Seattle actually agreeing to a contract and trying to sign Train Brock, and it ended up working out with a one-year deal. Um, he had seven seasons with San Francisco, and obviously they say he brings experience to Seattle, but. But uh, again, the big thing is the fact that Shed and Lane are just are injured right now. They're banged up. And uh, as well as Shaquille Griffin has played as, as a rookie from the University of Central Florida, he's only played one preseason game. And for him to line up you know, across some of the best guys in the league, um, that's a lot to ask out of a rookie. So uh, they clearly felt like in terms of depth at the cornerback position, they were kind of ailing a little bit. And I really like this move. I think uh, a lot of Seahawks fans probably would. It's, it's funny. People all, oftentimes complain about uh, the inner, you know, flip flopping between teams in the NFC West. Uh, Michael Wilhoyt from the San Francisco 49ers also signed with Seattle this past offseason. So a lot of San Francisco players to Seattle and a little bit vice versa as well. I think um, Gary Gillian signing with San Francisco as well as Brock Coyle. So uh, there's a little bit of, you know, switching between teams in the division. But again, Seattle as a team defensively in terms of their defensive back play they want physical cornerbacks and uh, also a veteran guy in Tremaine Brock I remember the big disaster I was a two years back with Kerry Williams signing and, and this isn't the same type of situation so if I was a, uh, a Seahawks fan not familiar with that situation I wouldn't worry about it um, or thinks that this is going to be similar because of the fact that Kerry Williams was kind of brought in to be the next Byron Maxwell in a sense you know Deshaun Shedd ended up kind of replacing that and ended up doing a pretty good job so that's why they ended up re-signing him this past you know offseason and he's just recovering from injury so I, I like it a lot uh, you, you bring in Shaquille Griffin as a rookie, so that's solid. So you didn't have him last year. Now you add Tremaine Brock. You know, Jeremy Lane actually was unhealthy a little bit, you know, last year as well. And, and Shed, and they've just been dealing with a lot of injuries, to be honest with you, at the cornerback position, especially Lane. Uh, he just hasn't really been able to stay healthy. And now Shed, uh, with his injury, and he, he's just trying, you know, he's trying to get... Uh, just comfortable with the cornerback position. You know, he ended up playing safety a little bit earlier in his career, so now he's he's kind of established in that cornerback position. But they'd like the physical cornerbacks. Jermaine Brock isn't a big dude. I think he's about 5'10", 185, uh, 190. Nothing too crazy, but, uh, you know, he had won five interception a season back in 2013, so he's played pretty well, to be honest with you. Um, I'm not saying he's going to be, you know, this incredible player, but you love to have depth at the defensive back position, especially if you're a team like Seattle who values you know so much at that position and the scheme they run and the cover three and how much they ask of those guys. So um, it's a good move, I think. I don't see anything wrong with it. Uh, you always want more depth in a one-year contract or one-year deal. Nothing too crazy. You get as much out of them as you can uh, for a short period of time. And you know if he ends up being a big player, and then we'll see how things work out in terms of uh, renegotiating the money but I really like this move and let me know what you guys think as Seahawks fans about this move for Tremaine Brock out of the San Francisco 49ers again in Seattle they just needed a guy in terms of depth at the cornerback position I guess you know it makes sense you got guys that are just hurt and some young players coming in so they wanted to get a veteran in there and to me it makes a bunch of sense but let me know what your guys thoughts are on Tremaine Brock as a player individually I remember a couple years back I think it might have been two years back where he ended up I just remember this interception before halftime Russell Wilson throwing and it actually was to Tremaine Brock uh, but that's just one little moment I remember of him against the Seattle Seahawks so but that will be the conclusion of the video hopefully you guys enjoyed you know make sure to subscribe to the channel for more talk of the hog videos definitely love doing these both in the preseason I guess postseason and offseason um, but again stay tuned for Friday where Seattle will be taking on Minnesota and actually this will be their first home game uh, since God knows when against Detroit in the playoffs. So uh, it's going to be great to see. Once again, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And yep, thanks for watching.